Hi everyone, this is Raybo and welcome to my desktop. Today's video is going to be how to set up the output folders in MO2 for body slide. And I want to uh, first have a call out on this for to Sirlock who helped me on the Sim Settlements 2 Discord to come up with this fix. The reason for this fix is um, there's a lot of great videos for how to install body slide and how to install MO2 and set it up um, on YouTube. Okay, the problem is they either went too fast or fell short of showing how to correctly set up the output files. So the problem statement here is that oftentimes you would have to uh, change the target folders in the course of doing your batch builds and whatnot and it was overly complicated. This is an extremely fast fix. Now for those of you who are fairly competent <coughs> with um, body slide and mod organizer, I just have to say one thing <coughs> for the, the larger audience is the first thing you have to do is make sure you have an output folder created for body slide and I suggest you just go create an empty mod move it below anything to do with outfits because you're going to overwrite them with your batch builds in your mods tab and I, I like having it with all my uh, MO2 generated overwrite mods and <clears throat> once you do that you are ready well do that you're ready to watch this video and I'm making the assumption that you've already watched other videos and installed body slide and set up a target executable for body slide okay now if you've done those two things and you don't want to watch the entire video then here is the fix what I want you to do is go to that target I want you to check this go to your drop down and that mod that you have created or you just created what whatever you called it body slide output output or, or output body slide it will then be in that drop down it'll show all the mods in your mods tab target that in your executable the only other change is to then go into body slide settings go to advanced and you'll see this new window now what you're gonna do is hit browse hits well in body slide hit settings advanced and you're gonna browse to that same folder and set up that output path now the problem that this fixes it, it and now you're done if you if, if you have if you understood what I just said you are done just do that and no more switching back and forth between target folders you're done you've accomplished the intent of this video now for the other folks is <clears throat> I'm gonna kinda go through the problem and then the fix again so if you understood what I just said just go ahead and do it and you know do your batch build you won't have to switch be between folders what has happened before is that you would the default setup with body slide and output studios is that it goes to your data folder so you would view the bodies or the outfits um, you know normally just click you know preview and, and you would see all the textures but when you went to batch build they had you target the overwrite folder okay which is in your profiles which is not a mod it's just it's that icon that shows up at the top 
with a warning symbol saying that, okay, now you've batch build, where do you want to put these? And you would have to transfer them over into a body slide mod in your mod organizer too. And uh, so you would have to retarget it. And the second you retarget it, you would get no textures. That was fine and this will work. But then you have to go ahead and you get the warning, you have to uh, go in from your overwrite folder, pull them over to a mod that you've created, which I showed you that was the very first step in your mod organizer too. And then you have to go back and reselect the game data path in order to get the textures. The two changes that I just showed you that I'm going to show again will fix that. I'm going to show it a third time in the actual applications. Okay. So we created a body slide output put mod. Okay. Then we're going to go into the executable and you have to do this first in order for it to show up in these next two screens. Okay. Then we're going to go to that executable drop down. We're going to click create files and mod instead of overwrite and we're going to select that'll have all the mods in that mods tab in MO2 you're going to select that body slide output mod okay that's change one change two is you're going to go into body slide click settings click on this advanced tab okay you're going to see an output path here you're going to click browse again and you're going to select that output mod you created and hit you know and just select it and, and go and that will prevent you from having to switch folders or pull anything from your overwrite folder into your mod and mod organizer too so let's take a look at that in the actual applications Okay, we've created the mod. We're going to go into, we're going to select body slide in the executables. Okay, then we're going to go up to edit. And we're going to make sure that this is selected. And we're going to go to this drop down. And because we've already created it, here's all the mods in my mods tab. Okay, I'm not going to change it. And we're going to pick that mod, which is right here. Okay, and we're going to, you know, you'll have to click apply. I'm going to click OK. Okay, once you've done that, click run and body slide. Click settings. Click advanced. And you're going to hit browse again. And you might have to... Uh, you know go wherever that that output slide uh, that 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 mod and um in mo2 so i have one in uh mo2 paths um go to the the profile that i'm using and then i'll find that mod and let's go ahead and uh gonna take a look at that here So when I set up this is the path I use. I have a game drive, mod organizer two, MO2 pass, um, and then the instance. So here here's my different uh, games that I have installed. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna click mods. And I'm going to go down to uh, output. I have a lot of mods. I'm going to select that. Okay. 
selected, click OK. So you do have to have a little familiarity with um, Body Slide and Output Studio and Mod Organizer 2. But once you uh, correctly set that up, here, you can uh, preview your mods. And this is Grease Rack Garbs by Tivia. I highly recommend it. And uh, it's a very nice looking mod. And uh, it's uh, on the Nexus. I'll put the link in the description of the video below. But then you can do either build <clears throat> or batch build. And Gopher has a great video on how to do that. And you will not have to switch back and forth between target folders or um, if you do a build. And let's go ahead and do a preview. Okay, that's all good. And I'm just going to click build here. Okay, it went to that, that output folder. And I did not have to change the textures. Um, change the file paths for the textures and when I exit body slide there is no warning that I have to go to my overwrite folder which is empty and pull it over so hopefully you've enjoyed this video hopefully it'll help a few folks out and thank you for watching bye bye